What's going on? Brandon Holmes here, one half of the College Game Time YouTube channel. A place for the fans, by the fans, dropping fresh college sports content non-stop. So before we jump into today's video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow us on all our social media handles below. Give us a like, leave a comment. We appreciate all the engagement and all the people that support us. All right, so let's jump into today's video. There's never a dull moment in college football. I like to say there's never ever a dull moment and this week did not disappoint this week did not disappoint game time fans here's why Jaden Daniels the quarterback for Arizona State entered the transfer portal Arizona State has been going through a lot of craziness amidst the look of some NCAA scandals that could be coming out and some other things that have just kind of been happening Jaden Daniels, most people remember him for the electric freshman year that he had where he um, even went in and knocked off Oregon and got close to being a, a ranked Michigan State team that year. His freshman year, he threw for 2,900 yards, 17 touchdowns, two interceptions, <clears throat> and had a big year on the ground. Now, this year, he didn't have such a hot year, 2,300 yards through the air, 10 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, and added like another 710 on the ground. Now, there's been some regression, obviously weapons and different things have happened, some coordinators, all this nonsense has been happening. And just this, it's not been a good situation down in, in Arizona State right now with Herm Edwards. And so their stud quarterback decides to enter the transfer portal. Well, this makes it really interesting, and here's why. Most of the heavy transfer portal season is done. And when it comes to quarterbacks, most people have pretty much locked in the guy that they want to have. So, it leaves everyone to wonder where is Jaden Daniels going to land. And to me, I don't think he lands in the Pac-12. Here's why. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of teams in the Pac-12 already have their quarterback, who they want to walk with, and who they have etched in stone. So I actually believe Jaden will do a conference jump. Here's the two teams that I'm looking at. I'm looking at Texas Tech, and I'm looking at OU. Why would I say OU? I know a lot of OU fans are going to, why would I say OU? We just, you guys just got Dylan Gabriel. Yeah, but I'm not sold on him. Jaden Daniels, when he's on, has shown that he can be a an amazing quarterback. And we saw what Levy did last year at Ole Miss with the Matt Corral. Daniels possesses some of those same qualities as far as the athleticism, as far as being able to run. But if he can return back to his freshman year, he also showed that he can take care of the football, right? Has has good arm strength, has an, has an NFL arm. A lot of NFL scouts believe he has an NFL arm. If he can just work on the accuracy and protect the football, I think he would fit extremely well in Levy's system. I think he would do extremely well in OU. And no shot at Dylan Gabriel, I just think Jaden Daniels is an upgrade. Now, I also believe he can land down there at Texas Tech. Texas Tech was very big in the Quinn Ewer sweepstakes, if you guys remember early on in the transfer portal cycle. He ends up leaning and going back to University of Texas at Austin, um, UT. And, I mean, there's some returning guys back there at Texas Tech. But I don't think they have anybody on their roster as good as Jaden Daniels. Like I said, though he had an off year this past year, the talent is there. The NFL arm is there. If he can work on the accuracy, it's it, he would be even better. The athleticism is there. I think... This guy at Texas Tech gives him the best chance to win early in the Mag in the McGuire tenure there at in Lubbock. I do. If I'm OU and if I'm Texas Tech, I'm calling this guy right now. The potential is there. He's shown he can do it. When things are competent around him, you can't control some of the other factors that were happening with him at Arizona State. But when if he can get in a good system where things are settled, things are stable, and he can just play football, and he gives a coach that can coach him up, I think you got a diamond in the rough. You have an NFL talent right there on your sideline. You have an NFL talent right there ready for the picking. And if I'm Texas Tech or if I'm OU, I'm calling this guy right now, especially if I'm Texas Tech, especially. I think the kid's – I think – I'm not saying he's elite – but I think he's a really, really good player. And I think if we can get back to his freshman year form, I think you got a guy that's going to lead you to win the seven to eight ball games that year. And then adding the, the spot of what he can do on the ground with his feet adds another element. And we have to admit, how college football is played, the better, the better of an athlete that your quarterback is, the more chances you have to be dominant in the game. 
Long gone are the days of where you just want that drop by that drop back passer who's going to sit back there. The Peyton Mannings, the Tom Brady's of the world, they're great. But more and more, especially in college, these coaches are leaning towards they want a kid that can move around, that has some athleticism, that can that can kill you off the zone read, that can scramble around and get you some yards, that can freelance a little bit. Jaden Daniels gives you all of that, and he played and won big-time football games. I think he just needs a restart. I think he just needs to go to a system where it's stable and it's calm and he can just focus on football. And if I'm in Norman, Oklahoma, or if I'm in Lubbock, Texas, I am calling that guy right now because he instantly makes my team better. Once again, Brandon Holmes here, one half of the College Game Time YouTube channel, plays for the fans, by the fans, dropping fresh college sports content nonstop. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment, and until next time, peace.